Hi guys, today I'm taking you on a tour of Watertown, Massachusetts, and I will be answering lots of questions like how affordable is Watertown, what are the schools like, and where do I do grocery shopping, and how do, you, do I get around, how do I drive to Boston if I have a job in Boston, and so much more. This is Nuna and the Greater Boston Real Estate Show. Make sure to like and subscribe and hit the bell to get notified of new videos coming up. And make sure to stay until the end because I have bonus information about best restaurants in Watertown. Nuna's Greater Boston Real Estate Show. With a population of 35,000, Watertown is the 50th largest community in Massachusetts. It's in Middlesex County and borders Belmont, Waltham, Cambridge, Brighton, and Newton. Watertown is very old and very historic, established in 1630. A group led by Sir Richard Saltonstall, who rode up the Charles River from Charlestown, established the settlement that became Watertown. For many years, the population of Watertown was greater than Boston's. You have many options when it comes to housing in Watertown. There are many single-family and multi-family dwellings, as well as condominium buildings and apartments for lease. Watertown is still growing rapidly. Housing is in high demand and new residential construction seems to be everywhere. Watertown Public Schools currently have 2,608 students enrolled in their pre-K to 12 program with one preschool, three elementary schools, Watertown Middle School and Watertown High School. According to US News High School ranking, Watertown High School is 157th in Massachusetts. Watertown is a very ethnically diverse city. Important ancestries of people in Watertown include Irish, Italian, English, Armenian, and German. There is a quick and easy access to Soldiers Field Road and Massachusetts Turnpike. Both will take you to downtown Boston within minutes. Watertown is served by many buses that either pass through or terminate in Watertown Square or Watertown Yard. By the end of 2020, Watertown's Arsenal Yards will be a thriving new neighborhood comprised of over 1 million square feet of development, including many restaurants, boutique shops, and staple retail brands like Alta Gap and Old Navy, hotels like Hampton Inn and Suites by Hilton, and movie theater The Majestic 7. The Mosesian Center for the Arts offers visual and performing arts productions, classes and workshops for all ages, and world-class theatrical and musical performances. New Repertory Theatre and Watertown Children's Theatre have their home here. One of the historical monuments of Watertown is the Commander's Mansion. Brick house with gingerbread trim, a gem of Victorian architecture, was named for the commander who lived there during the Civil War. The spacious grounds with a rectangular grape arbor are a prime spot for outdoor weddings and garden parties. Montauburn Cemetery, founded in 1831, is listed by the American Association of Botanical Gardens and Arboretum as the second oldest public garden of any kind in the United States. Thought by many to be in Cambridge, it actually has vast majority of its land in Watertown. Many famous people are buried here, including Henry Longfellow. So where do you go shopping? Russell's Farm is a great place to shop for fresh fruits, vegetables, baked goods, and flowers. They also carry a big selection of exotic fruits and vegetables. There are several stores on Montauburn Street that sell Armenian and Middle Eastern food. And I should mention that there is a big Armenian community in Watertown, second largest in US.
Charles River Road has a very good walking or biking path along the river. Every Wednesday during summer months, there is a farmer's market in Watertown Square where you can buy fresh produce from local farmers. For the last 20 years, Watertown communities get together for the fair on the square every September. And now, as promised, here are my top 7 best restaurants in Watertown. Wasn't that a great trip? I enjoyed it. So if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact me. I know Watertown very well. And uh, like and subscribe and watch my other videos. See you next week.